So. Yes. So, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> Today we are appreciating our furry friends, the Palicos, and all the other furry friends you can have in Monster Hunter World. Let's meet one of our favorite. There we go. Here we have the hardworking class of furry friends. Look at her. She's so cute. Ah, oh, yeah. Grand Meowster Chef. Grand She's Meowster great. Chef. She's. Awesome. Do you also wish there that our two cats could cook? At least do the dishes. At least do the dishes, yes. <laughs> I like to cook, but I, <laughs> I hate cleaning up, so... Fair enough. That would be a lot of help. They could pull a little bit of weight instead of just pulling around. The poor cat in the back watching you eat. <laughs> There we see they're in a pookie dress and they bring you food. They're so cute. I mean, the pookie dress is already one of my, my more favorite armors for the palico. Yes. You know what? I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Right. I'm just appreciating uh, the bakery here. Great. It all looks fantastic. I mean, I have to give our cat Sopa one thing. She also bakes, but she mostly bakes furry things. <laughs> if you have like a furry sur surface, she likes to bake that. <laughs> yes, or at least need to though. <laughs> need There's to so dump. many cats everywhere. Yeah. I mean, the Poogie is also a furry friend in this game. Cuddle the Poogie. I am all for frosty friends, but the Poogie is a bit too sassy for me. No, he's great. Swine. You can pick him up. Fair. Can you pick up your cat. Please give me that option. Please, 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 please give me that option, Capcom. Can we cuddle our cats and love our cats a bit more? I oh, yeah. mean, that's all you do with real life cats. <laughs> then we have the housekeeper. Well dressed for the occasion. Oh, he's so warm and fluffy. Look at the devil Joe <laughs> chilling over here. <laughs> He's not furry, but he's Great. cute in his own way, right? Cute is one word to describe him for sure. Oh my... Is that your pookie with this dress? No, that's yours. That's awesome. God, I love your room. Like how you can put animals everywhere. Yes. And by putting animals everywhere, I mean Downy Crate. <laughs> whatever they're called. If you can catch them though. <laughs> I've literally filled up my room with velociraptors and... So uh, birds animals. and birds that don't birds exist more anymore. Birds. Yeah, exactly. I'm here with the Poogie selection. Mm. I mean, there's a reason why I probably chose this. This is awesome. It's great. It's very colorful, very cute. The Hello bee friend. must be one of my more favorite ones too, right? I like the blue dress ghost. Ghost? Oh. Uh -huh. Is it this one? No? No, oh, you probably don't have it. Oh, this one, this one, yeah. Spectral, sp oh, this is very, very cute. That's my favorite. I mean, yes, absolutely. The other one you had picked also great, the Kuliaku. This yeah. is, is this the original one? Yes, but in different colors. Oh, Totokama! I love this one. It's great. It's great. I generally love the ones that imitate monsters. Totokama, Ghost, Kuliaku, are those the tops? I'd say so, yeah. Little friend. So cozy. We have other two working cats over here. In your room is over. Oh, I, I forgot. I love them. Trilobites. Trilobites. Or probably actually just the horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs? I'm not sure. Could be both. In my head canon, they're trilobites. I, I know they're probably very different, but they're so cute. Oh, look. There's a fuzzy boy riding on a fuzzy boy. <laughs> oh no, it's so cute. I don't know how this works anymore. Just press start and then spam the buttons. It's random. I think you can also press space bar or something and just wait through it. <laughs> Sometimes I believe that he is also a fuzzy friend. Helpful feline. <laughs> well, that's what they are. Yes, that, they're very helpful. The... Not like our cat, but what? They're very helpful, very babies. I will quickly take a look at our favorite friend, the Meow's Color Chef. He's so elegant at what he does. He's so fun, yes. Oh no, I can't eat with him. Oh, well. Ah, look at that. There's a cat doing a Ratalos sculpture. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the poker set, of course, as we talked about, is easily one of the coolest. It's up there. It's absolutely... I, I like how they incorporated Puke, like yes. Puke Puke, the monster. But it's also like this. It looks like a plush animal. Yeah, yeah. it looks like a costume. It looks like a costume and it's exactly. still a cat under it and it's so cute. Yeah. It looks like a cat is cosplaying a Puke Puke. <laughs> Fair. Uh, one of the classic, of course, is the... Fatalis armor. Fatalis armor. But it's not a cat anymore. It's not a cat 
cat on it, but the head is so bouncy around it's that, so it, that it also feels like a costume. And also it's kind of funny because it's Fatal is this big bad monster that actually wants to hurt humanity. And in that it's time. <laughs> Val Hazak said this definitely out there looks like a cat zombie come to life. Uh, the cat zombie, yes. That did this one is always an all time favorite as well. It's, I do it's like the, the, the cat armor better than the hunter armor. Really? I love the hunter armor, but the cat armor is even scarier. Okay. No, the, the high rank armor with the veil draped over it looks Yeah, fantastic. the veil, the upper. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I love it. Uh, it's great. Your favorite? Maybe. Wiggler! These things are hilarious. I love them so. I mean, I already established that I love Coral Highlands and Rotten Vale. Well, and we the Wigglers are the embodiment of Coral Highlands, no? Yes. It's pretty much the first thing you see when you get to the Coral Highlands. Like, they're just there and popping out of the ground. I, I like, believe they're these? inspired by real fish. Mm -hmm, absolutely. That doesn't make them any less cute. No, that, that makes them even cuter. It's such an awesome thing. I love it. The Huntsman set is really cool because uh, the, 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 that's yeah. just literally the guy. Um, it's the guy, but in small. Oh, so what is the story behind the Huntsman? I, I think he's just one of the hunters that came, I think, First Fleet. First Fleet. I believe that he was... A known hunter or something? I don't know him. Oh, is he from... just no, no. first fleet? He's just first fleet, but like okay. his, his thing is his entire thing is that you can see uh, his armor. He's wounded, and I think uh... it was Teostra that did that and kind of I mean, had him enough. go once. Is... Okay, Ner Gigante. I mean, it's almost the same principle as Fatalis, where the head is similar to the monster. Yes. But I actually like how the face of the cat, the cat still is still looking out. Too. Fair enough, fair enough. And and the claws, they're all everything. Mm -hmm. I love the... Mm -hmm. Sadly, the dual blades that are claws are not always very viable. Kind of like the principle of like slapping on claws to find the monster. Fair enough. Yeah. Namiel is very strange. In a good way or in a bad way? I guess in a good... I, I, like, I like the, the hood. The hood, the, the, the things that come out it yeah. look like corals or something? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, some 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 animal that lives in a coral reef or yeah. plant that lives in a coral reef. Absolutely. I mean Namiele also a monster from coral highlands. Highlands and the color scheme and the vibrance of it. The deep sea inspiration of it is very fun. Honestly, I have to put Kirin armor. I really like how the, the fur of the Kirin kind of works together with the fur of the cat. Oh, oh did you see? It has a little cat bag. Yes, I like it a lot. You still have the cat ears coming out. She has, they have the thing. I mean, it's a very famous armor and it's just basically slapped that armor on the, on, on the cat more or less, but it's done very well with the with the cute bag, as you point out. Uh, and it just works really well with the, the fur textures, etc. of this game, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, um, the fur textures in this game is definitely carrying something, like veil. It's interesting. It really removes the cat from, from the cat. No, but it has a cat skull. With ears. Yes, with ears. The, the <laughs> <laughs> I find all of these that are kind of floating really cool uh, as a bit of a gimmick. Yes. But I never have them equipped for very, very long. But when every time you get new ones, I always get you them. You equip them for a while and then you realize that you're missing your cat. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and then you want uh, your fuzzy friend back and not only a ghost. The design is cool. Ah, oh, oh, they got the, the gachala, gachalaka. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, the gachalaka set. I don't like the headpiece. I mean, it, it is, of course, just how they look, right? Yes. But I really, really like the, again, the fuzziness. And I, now that I see it, I remember using this with the Kirin helmet. Oh. They go really well together. Yeah. If you I actually see. want your cat and not want the ga ga gachalaka. Fair enough. It's definitely a cute set. It is and great. A fitting one since the gachalakas are all uh, everywhere. They're very cute. Yes. I like their music. I really like it because it's so like likely Wild. weird uh, and dissonant. Tribal? tribal. Yeah, dissonant. Can we talk about the Narga Kuga armor? Yes. I mean, Narga Kuga armor on Hunter is already very fun. And the it's same. just the same. The same oh, for the cat. cat. I mean, it's just a ninja. Ninja but, uh, cat. It, it, it's so, yeah, I, I don't know, I like them. It's well designed, well colored. I like the, the gloves. He still is very catty. They, they pronounce the ears. Works great for me. I mean, the Naka Kuga is already a bit catty, right? Fair enough. And the ears are the Naka Kuga ears. So 
they could just put on cat on cat. Yes, that's fair. <laughs> the boa boa, on the other hand, that's very cute with the fake eyes. Yes. That is so, like, they, I think they're trying to be popos or something, or yes, a teka. They're, like they're, they're, they're popos. They're, popos. they're mimicking another popos. animal, but you can still see their tiny eyes. It's so cute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're adorable. I think these are very, like, these are actually the ones we can see walking around in the Horfrost Reach, right? They, they run around like that. Possible, I... You don't remember? No, I don't. The Grim Reaper set is just great. I love the weapon. Yep. Love the weapon. I mean, it's just a feline Grim Reaper. If I die and disappears, I will go with it. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> um, Van Barrow. Oh, the kitten at the back. Yeah, oh, the plushie, the weapon. So you can put that on any set, that's great. That's great! Can I have it as a backpack, please? Oh, you have to make it. That should be a Lagombi armor, I guess. Oh, right. But he isn't in this game, so... Have you seen Fair. his bag in front? Like it's also his, cute, yes. It has ears as well. Oh, no! Okay, uh, I want to cosplay <laughs> this cat. You're gonna dress the cats. I'm just Fair gonna enough. walk around in a, re a real big fluff suit. <laughs> the Katachi set. I like the Katachi set. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but I like it. Yes, it's, yes. It's also fluffy. It has this... I guess it has the ears on the hoodie. I like it's the a, texture. It also has a fun weapon and the, the scales of the mm -hmm. Katachi really work mm -hmm. well. Exactly. That's cute. The normal Puke set is already also quite fun, must say. I like the chest piece. Mm -hmm. I mean, the hat is very cute, but I do like... The chest piece with the, the feathers. The poncho kind of thingy. The, the, the poncho feathery with poncho. feathers. It's really good. Mm -hmm. The bow is also super cute, and it's a poisoned weapon, so it, it's super useful. Yes. I mean, this is definitely just top tier gear, because like you get it really early, it looks great, it functions great. Yes, it's like top starting gear Absolutely. For the Palico. The duffel, the, the, the very first duffel set, the backpack on it. Oh, uh, oh, okay, that's hilarious. That's so cute. What, what is it? Is oh, it? I can I, I need the backpacks of this cat, Scott. Please, this someone do be, them. I mean, this one should absolutely be makeable. What, what, what is it? Because it looks it, a bit it looks like, like a tetranodon. A it looks like, yes, fair. It looks like a tetranodon. Also, that the hood. Now that I mentioned, now that you, now that they look at it, look at his cap from the front. Yes, it's. It's also a duck. It's also a duck. Why is it a duck? And and his weapon is a. A kuluyaku. A kuluyaku. Kind of is reminiscent of one. Yes. No, it, it's not a kuluyaku. Yeah, I, I thought it was a kuluyaku. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not sure. But it's also kind of like an ice pick. It's surprising. Also, the now, now it makes so much more sense. The coat ends in a tail. <gasps> Oh, like a duck tail. So it actually is a duck. The entire thing uh -huh. is supposed to look like a duck. Oh my god, I never actually looked at it that way. This is great. That's, That's really cute. well designed. So well done. Right. So much fun, yes. This is... You cannot focus. No. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> I love the cat. Probably That's exactly really what we're loving here. The cats and the furry friends and the fun parts about diving into this world, right? Yes. All right. Thank you for watching and tell us your favorite furry armors. Go on. Two, three, you're gonna win. <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever seen that.